Um, so anyway, um, as an architect, I wanted to learn more about what the elevated structure meant in the current proposal. Uh, the High Speed Rail Authority has very little information about what that means. Uh, a good portion of it is currently designed to be elevated through Palo Alto. So I took one area which coincidentally, coincidentally happens to include Mariposa Avenue and look closely at what that might mean. So on the screen here you can see a partial aerial of Palo Alto. Right in the center here is the Pali football field. Churchill Avenue runs right here. Mariposa runs right through here. Pierce Park is down at the right corner. And the dark stripe in the middle is the Caltrain right-of-way. Um, so I took that information and created this, this digital model we'll take a quick look at here. So as we come in, you can see the Pally Field on the left. This is Churchill running up and down the screen, and then Mariposa to the right. And so what I've done is created an elevated train structure, which uh, is intended to accommodate four tracks, service for the high-speed rail, Caltrain, as well as diesel freight trains. Uh, the system would be electrified, and so you can see in the model here, there are a series of support poles and catenary wires which would support the electrification lines. Uh, the height of the structure, in order to clear a street, as shown here, would require about 16, 16 and a half feet of clearance for trucks and buses, another four and a half feet of structure and track bed, which would take it up to about 21 feet. And then in addition, the poles would rise another 24 to 26 feet. So we're, we're about 46, 47 feet in height uh, as they're currently showing it. To the right is Mariposa Avenue, which we'll come back to. Um, I'll quickly jump over. We'll go through the underpass, which again, as I say, is 75 feet and uh, fills up the right-of-way at this point. And we'll look down the other side of the structure. This is now, we're now on Alma. And you can see looking south towards the Cal, uh, California Avenue station, the structure would descend down to grade at the station um, on a very gradual slope. Freight trains can, are restricted to a 1% slope, which is, is very flat. Um, and then looking the other direction, we will turn, and now we're looking towards downtown. Here's Churchill right in front of us. And then uh, grade rises as you approach the University Avenue station and um, it would ultimately rise enough so the train raised elevation uh, structure would would uh, meet grade at Excuse me, the other Jim. Are yes. you, are, the Alma Street grade is rising, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah. according to the information I have. Yeah. Um, according to Google, which was a, a, a Google Earth is a resource that I've been using, uh, it rises about 16 to 18 feet. And I'll just conclude, we'll jump over to uh, the other side again, and we'll take a look. I've got, uh, again, this is the, as I mentioned, the, the former auto body shop, San Francis Studio, on the corner of Mariposa and uh, Churchill. And then these are two existing houses that currently reside on, on Mariposa. And these, these lots are, as I mentioned, 115 or 116 feet in depth. And so you can see the implications are uh, very significant for for these structures and uh, this end of, of Southgate. So uh, to follow up on one question from the board earlier, um, I would request that the HRB ask very specific scoping questions regarding historic resources and potential impacts of the high-speed rail. Um, I, I greatly support the, the comment from board members Kohler and Bernstein about creating your own letter. I think it certainly carries more, more impact that way. So if that's possible to to take that approach, I, I would strongly encourage that. And uh, I thank you very much for your time.